Hey, what's up, everybody? Holmes here, and welcome back to more Bloodborne walkthrough. We're gonna walk through and not play through, and uh, it's with a skill build. Yeah. And uh, last time we took out Father Gascoin, and we did some side quests. And this time, well, actually, last time I I was using my other character because um the original run got screwed over. I don't know why, but the uh, I guess it's because I have I had um the internet um well I had like the internet browser tabs open and then screwed over the recording so make sure I make sure everything's closed now <laughs> so nothing screws up and I had to do like um make another character just so I can run it back and oh shit yeah and um. I was using a character that was I didn't even level up even once. But this time I'm using my original character for the walkthrough. And I did level up a little bit. Uh, I believe I leveled up twice and not sure what I put it. I think I put my stats on onto endurance. So here's my stats. Alright. And uh, my weapon. I did uh, equip the gym that we got from the little girl's mother and uh, yeah gave us a little bit of attack boost stupid crow let's use actually let's use this <laughs> since we get some extra range the whip is pretty good and all um, I don't know I don't really use it much because it's not really my thing but it is growing on me though but I'm still more <laughs> comfortable with uh, the saw spear. Actually, I'm starting to like the cane a little bit. Right here, there's a guy up there. You want to wait because there's another guy up there. So if you rush up there, he's gonna freaking ambush you with his with his buddy over there in the top. So, oh, you piece of crap! Give us our health back. Come on. There we go. But wow, nice. And here's his friend. Hello, friend. Ow. The transformation attack always, like, stuns him. God damn it, we didn't get to top off our health. Uh, anyways, here is um, a wooden shield. Not sure if many of you guys will like this. It's not really that good of a shield in this game. Use L2 to block, by the way. Yeah, L1 doesn't do anything. You just L2 to block. I heard that... I've never actually tested how the shield worked. I just heard from my friend that it sucks. Um, like when they hit... When you try to block, they'll go around you and they'll whack you, so... You know. I kind of want to test it, but I don't... I, I don't want to get hit. <laughs> I don't want to lose any health. So... Yeah. Uh, this door is locked. Can't open it yet. The bitchy old granny right here. We're gonna, in this episode, we're gonna explore part one of the Cathedral Ward because we can't access the whole area. Uh, we're gonna have to take down a boss and then we'll have to go like around in order to go into like the Cathedral area. So, yeah, uh, we're gonna be exploring part one of this area first. Yes, I'm right here. Oh, come on. Oh, right in the gut. Nice. You dropped anything for me? No? Alright, cheap bastard. Not sure, but actually, I'll top off my health. I, don't know. I can't stand seeing my health. There's like a part of my health missing. I don't know. It just makes me feel weird to see a part of my health missing. Oh, could have snuck up on this guy, but then we were walking too fast. Yeah, if you do like a slow walk like this, you can sneak up on enemies. If you do a normal run, you know, they'll hear you. So, if you want to do a backstab, you want to do a slow walk. But some enemies, they are... Um, the moment you creep up on them, they'll turn around. No matter what, even though if you do a slow walk. So, yeah. Um, actually... There's a shiny right there. There's a pickup. 
It's a kind of a dangerous pickup. But we're going to go for it anyways. And the moment we go for it, run back, okay? Run straight back the moment you grab it because you'll see this. It's like vortex thing. And if your insight is high enough, you can actually see what's making that vortex thing. Um, it's not something we can take down at all. Even though if you, you're like in the end game, boss, you cannot take this thing down. You can't get rid of it, okay? But once we get later on into the game, even though if you don't have high insights, you'll be able to see it. But in the beginning of the game, if you have high insights, if you're like on NG+, well, if you're on NG+, I'm pretty sure you will know what that thing is. But you'll be able to see where it is. Okay, it's some pretty creepy creature. And the way to go is down there. But instead of going down there, let's go up there. Yep, there is some st some stuff we can explore them up there. So let me try the whip form on this guy. Actually, I don't know if I want to risk that. Uh, there's a shiny pickle right there. Blood shards. And there's a big ass motherfucker right here. You can actually injure his legs enough. So you can uh, drop him for a visual attack. Kind of risky though because um, attacks hurt. Oh, that was a wolf. Crap. Yeah, he has a um, couple of combo hits. Be really careful in fighting this guy. Oh shit, he got me. If you get whacked, I suggest you don't risk with a regain, because if you get hit again, you'll probably die. Ah. This guy just doesn't want me to break his legs. I mean, I don't know who would, but. Let me break your legs, fool! Okay, well there's the end of that. But yeah, you can injure his legs. I think it's the right leg. From our point of view, it's gonna be the left leg. If you attack it enough, he'll actually get stunned. And then you can go in for a visceral attack on his head. But he didn't want me to do it. You know, he was being really defensive and bulky. So I couldn't show that. But yeah, um, if you hit his leg enough times, he will eventually fall over. And we we need a special emblem to open this main gate. Um, it's a special emblem. This this gate is talking about. It costs 10k. Okay, 10k. Uh, blood echoes. It's pretty pricey. Uh, for early in the early games. Uh, I don't know why you would want to do that because later on we can actually go around if you really want to fight the boss then i guess you can sp like farm 10k blood echoes and then open up this gate because the boss is up there uh but later on we, we're gonna be be able to get around and then there's a lever right there i don't know if you guys can see it it's right there but yeah you can actually use that lever and then this gate will open and you don't have to spend 10k blood echoes just to open that crap but yeah, uh, if you guys want to open that up, you guys can do so. But you know, I'm just gonna wait about wait on that. I don't want to use 10k blood echoes. Just open a door early on, cause um, I don't really see the point. Maybe if there is like um, there's a good reason. Maybe if it, if someone lets me know what's the point of opening that thing early on, then I'll do it. But as of now, it's not gonna happen. Oh crap! Crap, there's two of them on my ass. Let me just see if I can finish this guy off. There we go. Hey, where are you going? The party's just getting started. Hmm. I feel like parrying these guys is not the way to go. If you pull off a backstab against those guys, it's really awesome though. There's two crows there. Alright. This area down. Um, there's some... There's like a... Binocular here? Oh no. Uh, binoculars. <laughs> Binocular. Binoculars here. And... I don't know. I guess for people who likes... 
checking out things you guys can use monoculars it's I don't know I'm not really fond of the monoculars in this game because um like your character's shoulder kind of blocks some parts so it's kind of weird and even if you dodge or anything like that you're gonna be stuck in this monocular thing and you gotta press like square to disengage the monocular I remember last time I got fucked over like that because I was checking out things and then like when the boss attacked I'm like oh crap you know it's kind of like playing playing the souls game in uh well actually souls game playing bloodborne in first person view because you can actually fight like this it's, it's kind of weird I don't know it's not really my thing I better this I better unequip that before that shit gets me killed because um it'll happen if I keep that thing equipped Let's don't shard. Watch out for this big guy. He may look like he's sleeping, but he's he's not. And I would highly recommend you guys don't fight this guy because he doesn't really give up anything special. I mean, he gives up, he gives up some uh, blood echoes, but no. I feel like you'll lose more blood vials from this guy than gain blood vials or gain blood echoes because you're gonna end up wasting a lot. Cause he has some crazy ass range. Oh shit! Can we get the hip? Nope, we can't. Uh oh shit! Run, 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 run! Yeah, I was trying to get um the pickup and the imp at the same time. Cause the imp usually drops um uh some blood shards, and I was kind of hoping I would kill him so I can get some more blood shards so I can upgrade. I think I could have gotten him, but then the big guy ended up whacking me, so... And it took away half of my health. That was, that was really insane. And I do not want to mess with this guy. I mean, you could beat him. It's just that his moves are harder to telegraph, and it hits as hard as the guy with the axe. But this guy's range is even longer, so... I highly recommend you guys don't fight this guy. Just run past this guy. He won't, he won't chase you. So, you know, well, he kind of follows you a little bit, but he won't chase you all the way back. I mean, if you want to engage him, you can, if you want, but I'm not going to mess with that guy. Uh, we could take him down, but I don't want to lose too much blood echo over one enemy. So, screw that guy. Let's just get a move on with the level here. I always thought that was a fog gate. Because from up far, it looks like a fog gate. But when you get a closer look, it's just a window. Oh my god. Alright, moving on. Uh, down here we got quite a bit of enemies, but these guys are not too hard to deal with. There is no rifle dudes, so... Get the bombs. Oh, did they burn? Okay. Okay, he burned himself. I mean, that's fine with me. I'm not really, like, risking getting hit here. He just fucking fried himself. Uh, Bloodborne dogs. Real smart enemy. Right? I wonder if I can make him burn himself. Doesn't look like that's the case. Oh, he just burned. Well, actually, I kind of pushed him into value there. <laughs> it's so satisfying getting, watching them get burned. Uh, the fire actually does a lot of damage to them. It doesn't really do that much damage to us, but I don't want to burn myself just to show it. It's not going to one-shot you if you guys are worried about that. So, yeah. But it will take some health off. The Molotov. How much Molotov do we actually have? Okay, so we have eight in total. Four in the chest and we have four on in the inventory right here. Okay. Uh, in here, there's one enemy that's kind of hidden. Because if you just walk in here, you know, you see that pickup and you're like, oh, look, pickup. But then when you look to the side, there's a guy waiting right there. <laughs> it's not, he's not too much of a threat, but you don't want to get hit. Makes you look like a noob. <laughs> you want to look like a pro when you're playing Bloodborne. Especially when you're posting the video on YouTube. Alright, so that's the end of that room for now. We're gonna be back there later. Actually, in a few minutes. Oh, look! A sniper guy. 
And he's all in the open. Hmm. There's nothing fishy about that. Except there's two freaking dogs that comes charging after your ass and trying to go up the stairs. I highly recommend you guys don't rush up the stairs because these guys will fuck you up. Or at least give you a hard time because that guy's gonna be um, blazing his stupid sniper. And it packs a punch too. After you trigger the two dogs, then rush up with this guy. Mm, how do you like that, huh? Always coughs up some silver bullets. Really nice. Alright. Uh, let's go there later. Let's talk to... Alfred. Uh, I think he's an executioner. I only show um, the story about this guy. I know some major crap happens to him later though. <laughs> What's up, good? You're a beast hunter, aren't you? Mm -hmm. I knew it. That's precisely how I started out. Oh, beg pardon. You may call me Alfred. Protégé of Master Ligarius. Hunter of vile bloods. So, what say you? Our prey might differ, but we are hunters, the both of us. Why not cooperate? And discuss the things we've learned. I'm not sure what you gain by refusing. I don't really think anything else happens. Uh, so, you know, just cooperate with this guy. Oh, very good. Very good indeed. Take this to celebrate our acquaintance. Actually, if you um, cooperate with this guy, you can continue his um, side quest further. I don't think you're refusing will lock you out of it. Uh, he'll probably just, you know, offer to cooperate again when you talk to him. But just just be on the safe side. You want to hit cooperate if you want to do this guy's side quest, okay? Because I don't want people to try refusing and then it screws up and then and they're like, Fuck you, Holmes. It's all your fault for your stupid ideas. So if you want to if you want to do a side quest, cooperate, okay? All right. <laughs> uh, he gives you a gesture and he gives you um fire paper. Beast hunting is a sacred practice. May the good blood guide your way. All right. There must be oodles for us to share. Go on. Just tell me what piques your interest. Uh, I would like to have the Chikage katana. Uh, and I would like to have the burial blade. You got any of those? No? You only got information about healing church and Bergen with? Alright, let's um let's hear about him. As you know, the healing church is the fountainhead of blood healing. Well, I'm a simple hunter quite unfamiliar with the ins and outs of the institution. But I have heard that the holy medium of blood healing is venerated in the main cathedral and that counselors of the old church reside in the high stratum of the cathedral ward. If you seek blood healing, and the church is willing, you should pay them a visit. Okay. Bergenworth is an old place of learning, and the tomb of the gods, carved out below Yarnum, should be familiar to every hunter. Well, once a group of young Bergenworth scholars discovered a holy medium deep within the tomb. This led to the founding of the Healing Church and the establishment of blood healing. In this sense, everything sacred in Yarnum can be traced back to Bergenworth. But today, the college lies deep within a tangled wood, abandoned and decrepit. And furthermore, the Healing Church has declared Bergenworth forbidden ground. It's unclear how many of its scholars remain alive, but only they know the password that allows passage through the gate. I see. All right. I bid you farewell. It has been a pleasure. May the good blood guide your way. It's been a pleasure talking to you, pal. All right. Let's uh, let's get a move on here. Uh, for that room that I said it was nothing important until later on. Yep, it's right down there. And also, there's a pickle right here, so let's grab this. Madman's knowledge. This is going to give us some insights. Actually, we have quite a bit of them already. 
Yeah, we have five of them. But we don't need that yet. So, you know, I'm just going to be collecting insights as we take down bosses. So, yeah, I don't want to use any madman's knowledge. It's not like I'm really saving it for anything. It's just that I don't really... Actually, I can use it if I want, but I don't really see the point. But anyways, let's um operate this lever here. Hold the lever, Kronk. And the two moves. Oh shit. Drop down here. And once we actually get to the bottom of this area, it's gonna be a whole new area. It's pretty safe until uh, the next room. There is gonna be like an enemy there. And uh, I would use the hunters. I mean, I would use the torch light things up but then I do want to parry this asshole that's gonna show up right here it's a wolf the beast and you can parry these guys okay there we go keep your, keep your hands to yourself keep your freaking hands to your or your claws to yourself and he gave them some bloodstone shire nice All right and I don't think there's anything else in this in this room so let's keep going down wait actually is it nope it's just a bunch of boxes okay all right make sure you don't freaking fall down here even though you won't die just you know don't fall down there or you could if you want uh there's a there's a lab really close by so and that was the only en enemy around this area Got some antidote. We're gonna need that later on. So make sure you save those antidotes. Uh, yeah. There's the lamp. There's also another pickle there here. Persian please, please. Persian blood cocktail. And uh, that's pretty much it for the first part of. Uh, Cathedral Ward. The Central Cath- Wait, no actually, just Cathedral Ward. And what's up with this note? Okay. This town is a- Is long abandoned. Hunters not wanted here. Screw your note. Let's open the door anyways. That's how we roll. We open doors that says keep out. And here is old Yarnum. Yep. And I'm gonna leave that for the next episode. <laughs> oh man, that that place it's it's kinda big. It's actually not kind of it's pretty big. So yeah, there's gonna be a lot of exp it's, there's actually two layers. It's freaking huge. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but when you think about it, it's not that huge. I don't know. Hopefully he's not gonna take up. Wait, where did the doll go? Where did the, 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 the doll go? Where is the doll? Where is our beautiful doll? Hello? Hello? Oh, there you are, my precious. Welcome home, good hunter. Hello. What is it you desire? You. I mean. Very well. For you to upgrade Let my character. Your strength. Yeah. Let me stand close. Now shut your eyes. Let's see. Uh, what do I want to do here? One endurance. I want to get... I, I, You know what? Let's get skill to 20 first and keep it there for a while. And then we're going to focus on vitality and endurance. I think this is good enough. What? Actually, do we have enough? If I use... Okay, I only have one, so I'm pretty sure we're not going to have enough. Uh, You know what? Let's just use the Mad Men's knowledge so we can get the insights. Since I'm not really saving it for anything anyways. Here is um the other two co-op... Well, multiplayer items. Small resonant belts, you can use it to 
help hunters from another world and sinister resonant bell this is gonna be used to invade other people now note that if you ring the sinister bell the sinister lady will still pop up in your world okay uh so yeah so while you're trying to invade someone while it's like trying to, while the game is trying to connect you to someone else uh there's a chance you're gonna get invaded before that happens so you know make sure you watch out for that don't think that that will be safe all the time and what's that? oh here is father gas coins set so if you guys are interested in this you guys can um you know, put on the set actually i'm gonna switch out the gloves for the gas coin gloves because it looks more better in my opinion and i don't know if i want to switch out the coat the garb i mean i can so i'll make it look like my blood tinge slash skill build character i don't know if i want to do that <laughs> it's like the same exact replica you know what i'm gonna stick with the classic just like this just like this all right I think that looks pretty good already. And let's upgrade our weapon. Let's get the saw spear to plus three. We need twin bloodstone shards now for saw spear. So let's just use the other shards on um the threaded cane. I think that's good. Still can access that table. We're gonna need something to um, in order to trigger that. It's like the the gems. Oh, speaking of the gems, <laughs> I can put another one. Nice. HP continue to recover. This is pretty good. And it has better physical attack up too. So let's equip this. Yep, I think this is good. All right. I think we're good here. Okay. So anyways, I think it's time to wrap it up for this video. So yeah, thank you all for watching. And I hope this video has been entertaining and helpful and enjoyable. And I also want to thank you all for the supports and uh, feedbacks. And one more thing, you know. If you found all three of those qualities that I mentioned to be in this video, then, you know, stay tuned for the next episode. But until next time, I will see you all later. Homes. Out.